And welcome back to the Valley Today. Let's take a look at our Valley News Live Storm Team Skycam Network shot in Fargo. The time lapse from yesterday starting off very cold into the teens below zero. Now as we went through the morning, temperatures rose. We saw just a few clouds as we made our way through the afternoon. Mostly clear skies as temperatures were on their way up. We were at 4 degrees by 4 p.m. Temperatures staying around that mark as we went through the overnight period. And we are seeing mostly clear skies as of right now. Here's what to expect as we make our way through the day. Mostly clear skies turning sunny uh, into the single digits before the uh, sun rises. Then we're going to keep that southerly wind. It will be breezy at time. Pump is pumping in warm air through the 20s by early afternoon with highs near 30 into the Fargo area today. We're starting off at 5 degrees in Fargo. Mostly clear skies. Wind is uh, south at 15 miles per hour and we are seeing a wind chill of 13 below zero. Moorhead at one degree and Grand Forks at seven degrees. Wind south at 17. It's giving uh, the Northern Valley a wind chill around 12 below zero. Here's the current temperatures around the region. Five right now at Detroit Lakes, three at Valley City, five at Gwinter. A little cooler is make your way uh, further south. One at Wapaton, Elbow Lake and Fergus Falls. Making our way north. Ten right now at Roseau. Five at Thief for Falls and Hallock. Twelve at Cavalier and 10 as we make your way out toward the Devil's Lake Basin. Let's take a look at those winds right now. We are seeing wind speeds mainly from the south at uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour, 5 to 20 miles per hour in most places, and that is pumping in warm air, but it's giving us a little bit of a wind chill. Here's a look at the wind chills right now. We are seeing a wind chill of 10 below zero right now at uh, Grafton, 5 below at Devil's Lake, uh, 16 below at Thief River Falls. And as you make your way into Lakes Country, wind chill of 14 below Wapaton and Fergus Falls, and 12 below at Wadena Oaks at 18 below zero, and a 17 below zero wind chill at Valley City. So still a little cold out there as you make your way through the morning. So definitely be prepared for that. But temperatures are on their way up. Taking a look at visibility, everybody reporting maximum visibility of around 10 miles, with the exception of Thief River Falls. We are seeing a visibility of eight miles as of right now. With the uh, winds from the south, it actually could cause some blowing snow, especially in open country. So definitely be aware of that as you make your way through the day. Now, mostly sunny or mostly clear skies is the story right now. We just have a band of clouds just north of Detroit Lakes out toward Roseau and Bedette. And that is it for the moisture. Now we're tracking high pressure. It's off to our south. We're on the very cold side of the high pressure to start the week. And that is moving off to the east. We had a nice warm front make its way through. It's to our north right now. So the warm air is filtering in. It's, uh, we're seeing that southerly flow pumping in warm air over the Rocky Mountains. And we have that nice southwesterly wind. And the warm air is really starting to get in here. Let's take a look at the hour by hour forecast into the single digits as we go through the morning. Teens by later in the morning and 20s by early afternoon. Daytime highs across the area ranging from mid-20s off to our east to lower 30s off to our west. Plenty of sunshine as we go through the afternoon. A few more passing clouds by later on into the day. Temperatures staying into the 20s overnight and then even warmer into the mid 30s as we go through the day tomorrow. Here's a look at the afternoon planner. Now we will see temperatures close to 30 degrees into the southern valley. Sunny skies, breezy and warm. Mid to upper 20s into Lakes Country as we make our way through the afternoon. Sunny skies across the viewing area mid to upper 20s into northwestern Minnesota. And as we make your way into the northern valley and Devil's Lake Basin, upper 20s to lower 30s. And that is a nice warm up as we go through the day tomorrow. And the warm air continues to filter in. Uh, overnight lows Wednesday into Thursday and Thursday into Friday staying into the 20s. We'll see a high of 37 degrees. We go through the day on Friday, a mainly dry week ahead. Partly cloudy skies, maybe a few passing rain or snow showers, but every most everybody stays dry. Another overnight low Friday into Saturday into the mid 20s and then a, a lower 30s on Saturday. Partly cloudy skies back into the mid 20s on Sunday and then 22 on Monday. A chance of a snow shower and then 15 as we cool down to uh, go through the start of next week with uh, mostly cloudy skies on Tuesday. Thank you, Justin. It's been a